for at least a fact. Yeah. You guys should give us a much better pricing if that's the case. We did give a better price then. <laughs> I, we should yeah. pay the, I mean, you, we, we should all pay for anything until something gets delivered, you know? I mean, what do you think? I'm gonna take your money and run away? I just, that's just the way it is, you know what I mean? We pay, I, I don't mind giving you some money up front, pay you the rest when we get them. Yeah, but this is all made to order equipment, so. I mean, I don't mind delivering half the shit that we have now, if you're really worried. Don't be so desperate for business that you just bend to all your clients' will. This guy wants free delivery. He wants deep discount. He wants to pay when everything gets delivered. That's not how we do shit. We have systems, rules, and regulations set in place in business because that's how it needs to operate. That's how other big businesses do it. They obviously do it for a reason. So do we, we do it the exact same way. It's okay to make concessions for your clients, but don't change how you do business to, in order to get their business. Tell us more, Dylan. This is how it's gonna be. It's gonna be the best fucking gym in South Philly. <laughs> Nobody gonna wanna go anywhere else. So today we are headed to South Philly. That's right guys, South Philly. Construction is in full swing. We are almost done. We are installing the rubber flooring right now. Today I gotta order the bathroom stalls. I gotta order the toilets. I'm gonna check on the progress of the flooring. My boys have been there for about two weeks installing the flooring. Haven't been there in about no, yeah, pretty much since the last time Dylan was here. So it's in about a week, so we're gonna see the progress, see how far they got. See what needs to get done to wrap up the floors, then we're gonna start laying out the equipment. Also, our mirrors arrived at port, so it should be getting delivered Monday and getting installed as early as Monday, if not Tuesday. Today we are gonna do a lot of graphic work, a lot of back-end work. So my boy Matt is coming to the office, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna redesign the entire Relentless website, make sure our catalog is up to date, and then we're gonna run ads for the first time in Relentless history. In the last three years, we have never ran a ad. All we did was build great products, and we hope that people that do buy it, tell their friends about it. And we've been able to make millions of dollars in sales just on the strength of our word, and just on the strength of the word of others. No marketing because I wanted to see if the product was good enough to be able to get on its own two feet without any marketing. So I built the fire. Today we're gonna pour the fuel on the fire. When you scale a business up, when you're when you're trying to scale a business up and you're trying to build a multi-million dollar company, you have to make sure your systems are set up properly. It's all about people, process products. We wanted to make sure we had, had enough people to be able to actually build the equipment, service the equipment if there was any issues, and install the equipment. We do. And then we also want to have the systems in place. So it doesn't matter if I had to fit out one gym, or 10 gyms, or 20 gyms, that we had the capacity to do it. One of the biggest bottlenecks for companies when they're, when they're building is their scalability. I'll give you a great example. Arsenal Strength. Huge demand right now. They're probably leaving $50 million on the table a year, on the bare minimum. The reason being, they can't produce shit fast enough. If you put an order in, you're lucky if you get it in the next 24 to 36 weeks. Um, Panada, they're another great company, right? We placed an order with them for one gym, literally one year ago. One fucking year. We still don't have it. We, we put that order in in March, it is now December. We're probably gonna get it another three, four months. The point that I wanna to make to you is, once you build that way for yourself, once you build that brand and the demand, make sure you can actually fulfill that demand. Set your systems up properly, so when you're putting all this money out for marketing, you're putting all this money out for branding, you're putting all this fucking money out to get your name out there, make sure that you can actually take the orders when people give it to you. Um, so we worked on our systems, we worked on our relationships, we 
partner with some of the biggest factories in the world. So now, it doesn't matter if I get an order from Gold Gym International for 30 gyms, I can for fucking easily fulfill them, or if I'm getting an order from Bob, Bill, and Joe from down the street for 5, 10, 20, 30 pieces. It doesn't matter, I'll be able to fulfill that order. So again, guys, people, process, product. Make sure you have the right people and you have the systems in place so the quality of the product is, is consistent throughout the board. And last but not least, make sure you can make enough fucking product. That boy on fire! Dropping that fire early in the morning. Guys, it's so fucking cold today that I had to come out with the heat first thing in the morning. My car is frozen. Corey, show them the Lambo. Yep. Mm. I believe it's about time to put the Lambo inside. Look at this thing. We're at the spot. Come on, baby. This is where the best food is. Everyone know that. There goes our two friends. Huh? What up, guys? Hey, how you doing? I didn't see the video on YouTube. No? You gotta check it out. You know, I asked somebody to give me your account. Uh, yeah, you know Tony. Yeah. Children. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know it's a good spot when they have Dr. Pepper. Yeah, come on. Dr. Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Fuck. Just Central PA shit. Nobody drinks Dr. Pepper. That's the white people gold right there. Yeah. yeah see, you <laughs> That's know. That's the white people gold. No, I forgot. Good personal trainers are hard to find, even harder to keep. Um, our business model, the way we built it, is personal trainers pay us rent, obviously, and they can run their business inside the facility. And then it's it's built for scaling. So like finding great trainers to occupy 20% of your gym is it's kind of hard. Um, and no, right, but I, it wouldn't just be uh, personal training. I think they, they like I think the classes that people people like that stuff, right? I mean, you probably don't run into a lot of like, classes in your gyms, but this is like kind of normal in the other gyms. Okay, so you're gonna use the turf area mainly for like. Boot camps, like and hit like class. yeah, like hit, hit, hit classes. Hit classes yeah. yeah, but if your facility is eight thousand, we've only accounted for three thousand. You still need five thousand square feet of flooring, so at least two thousand of turf and another three thousand of rubber. I don't know. We have to see what Chris has on down right now for the other space. Let me get you everything else, though. I still want you to take a look at it. Um, yeah, if you send us the blueprint, John can make you a rendering in a couple of hours. All right, I'll get it over to you when I'm done here. Uh, I'll let you know when I ship Sunday. Sounds good. And then, um, Dean, I was letting Justin know, I know you guys were waiting to close the deal before you placed the order for that equipment, but you know our timeline is, is closing in fast because we have maybe six weeks that we can manufacture before the Chinese New Year. So we need to process your order sooner than later, if, especially if you want all that stuff sooner than later um, because the month of February all of our factories are closed for about 20 to 24 days yeah I have I have a lot of plate loaded machines in stock so we actually sent you guys a list I can have John resend it to you of everything we have in stock yeah it was about half of the order, yeah. order you have in stock yeah I have it I, I, so I the, yeah so the other half we have to manufacture um, we can manufacture pretty fast within like four to six weeks but our window is closing in when are you guys, well, let's just focus on something. When are you guys delivering the equipment for Coverage Mall? We started yesterday. There's already one truckload delivered. My guys are on route right now. Another one should be delivered within an hour. We should be done today, if not by tomorrow. And then what about, I guess we need the rubber mats where you can set up? Yes, sir. So we're just waiting. I wanted to get everything over there. This way, when the rubber flowing arrived, we can just send my crew. They can install the mats and install the equipment all at once. Uh, and then for Seoul, it's what, 50% down to make the order happen? Yes, sir. Right. And then the balance okay. and the balance before it ships out, which is going to be within four to six weeks. We won't pay to get balance once we get it. Once we get, the, once we get the equipment. That's not how we do it. So you put 50% down, we manufacture it, we'll send you photos and videos once it's done. And then you pay the balance before it leaves the factory. Or at least the factory, man. You guys should give us a much better pricing than that's the case. We did give you better pricing. <laughs> I, we should pay the, I mean, you, we, we should all pay for anything until something gets delivered, you know? I mean, what do you think? Want to take your money and run away? I just, that's just the way it is, you know what I mean? We pay, I, I don't mind giving you some money up front, pay the rest when we get them. Yeah, but this is all made to order equipment, so. I mean, I don't mind delivering half the shit that we have now. 
if you're really worried. Uh, I'll, st I'll let me talk about it. For I, let me go over it with Justin, and then we'll get back here. Right? Sure, no problem. All right, all right, thanks, Tony. Oh yeah, we don't want to. We don't pay the, rest of the money uh, until it's installed. That's not how we do it, bro. I have fucking costs to operate my so business. Like, don't be so desperate for business that you just bend to all your clients' will. This guy wants free delivery. He wants deep discounts. He wants to pay when everything gets delivered. That's not how we do shit. We have systems, rules, and regulations set in place in business because that's how it needs to operate. That's how other big businesses do it. They obviously do it for a reason. So do we, we do it the exact same way. It's okay to make concessions for your clients, but don't change how you do business to, in order to get their business. Today's sponsor is CNC Ginger Ale. It keeps you going and keeps you growing. Just kidding. I'm against dumbbells, benches, all that shit will be lined up, right against that wall. Here, what do you say? Cardio in the back. Tell us more, Dylan. This is how it's gonna be. It's gonna be the best fucking gym in South Philly. <laughs> Nobody gonna wanna go anywhere else. I already see this shit. I told this dude crazy three times. He told me outdoor gym one week. Told me outdoor beer garden, basketball courts two weeks. I say no fucking way. Each and every goddamn time. Then it gets done. Show him the footage. We just finished phase two of our construction of our restaurant and our outdoor gym. Oh, it looks like a big pile of shit, but in about two weeks, it won't be. It'll be one of the most beautiful beer gardens in the motherfucking world. The reason for the beer garden is because Fusion Gyms is not just a gym, it's an experience. It's going to be a part of your lifestyle. We want to be a staple in our community. <laughs> and it gets done. Make your plan, work your plan. Make your plan, work your plan. Corey, show them what the facility looks like now. B-roll. Yeah, in about two weeks, this gym will be practically finished. The reason I say practically is we're waiting for a handful of things. Number one, we're waiting for our two inch thick rubber floor for our free weight area. That's number one. Number two, we are waiting for our front desk and our marble staircase. Number three, juice bar and sinks. But the staircase and the front desk should be here essentially when all this is finished so that's when we'll install the staircase and the front desk by christmas but within the next two weeks this gym will be fucking finished you guys are going to get to enjoy watching all of it so i get asked all the time how do i manage all my projects how do i do what i do because we're building two new locations, we're running Relentless, and we're running two existing open locations. The dullest pencils will remember more than the sharpest mind. Always remember that. Take fucking notes. Your notes will never forget. You will. The average person has over 60,000 thoughts in a day. So, here's all the things. Here's all my different folders. For example, this is South Philly. These are all the things that we're gonna do. So I'm making a list. These are the things that I gotta order. So I'm going through here and I'm laying out exactly what I gotta do. You know, like me and Corey and Adam, we just had a meeting for our content. So we got content meeting, literally one for every manager, we have one for Kevin, we have one for Scott, we have one for John, we have one for Adam, we have one for every single person. So if I speak to you about something, chances are I'm taking a note on it. And then when I have another conversation with you, I'm gonna follow up on that note. Corey got to experience that on Wednesday when we were sitting down and going over the content meeting. Guess what we did, Corey? What do we do? Tell, tell them what we did, Corey. So what were we doing in the uh, last team meeting? We were going through all the notes that we went through last week. So what we do is when we have a meeting, number one, everything we talk about, we take notes of. Once the notes are done, we assign each thing to each person. 
following meeting, before we start, we follow up, and then we go over a new agenda. Having all these different agendas and all these things that you talk about, you can plan it all you want, but if you're not actually executing, what the fuck's even the point of it? Yeah. There you go, bro. Big news, Corey. Huge, 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 huge. You got my reservation. I knew I reserved the Tesla truck four years ago. I could not find it even to save my life. And they just texted me. So we're, gonna be, we're gonna be driving this very soon. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna feel like Corey. I'm gonna get driven around. You're gonna drive that thing? No, it's the autopilot. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I am kind of excited for it. Yeah, that's two checks equaling a hundred thousand dollars. That's just our rent for two locations. That doesn't include gas, water, electric, payroll, all of our other expenses and overheads when it comes to managing and running this facility. That's just rent. You want men, if you want to make big boy money, you got to pay big boy bills. Take a back. Send these out. Gracias. Actually, pretty soon you're going to drive bulldozers. You, 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 you yeah, Fusion Jim, we teach you how to do everything. Okay? I would love to drive a bulldozer. So when we uh, start demo in Ben Salem, Got we're going to put her back in this kit. We're going to show her how to rip the floors up. She could be like um, the mayor's. Uh, Walk around with my meta glasses and no, no. record everything and make sure. Mary's boy has a personal it. driver. She could be your personal driver. No, no, no. I don't yeah, want to be that. that executive I do not van. want to be his personal we'll driver. Get that executive van. Yeah, if he gets me the Sprinter van, then yeah. yes. Yo, I told him he should get us a Sprinter van so we can follow him around and do our work wherever he goes. He rolls his eyes at it, but like, give it two years and we're gonna I, have one. I don't know. You want to think? Her idea was an RV. I said no. I I'm gonna buy a Sprinter van. Existed. I'd rather okay, RV. Well, we should buy an RV. Well, yeah. If we have to go to the bathroom, you know, have to make yeah, something. Yeah. Where we drive, we would say Fusion Gym's Relentless, and they'll be like, yep. whoa, what's Marketing. this? Why is this here? Like, what's this van doing? And we can have that sack that has all the multi-function things so we can work out as we're on the road. Okay, that's a little, that's a little far-fetched. Unless it's like Will Smith's RV that's like $15 million. Okay, guys, everyone, please fuck off, including you, Corey. We'll call you when we need you. I would like to get work done in warp speed. Change everything to black. Yep. So this is the rendering for a gym that we're building in Sewell, New Jersey. It's for the same owners that own the Pottstown Mall. They sent us the blueprint this morning. We virtually designed and laid out the entire facility. By we, I mean John. But John is a part of me because I trained him, so I, I pretty so much you did, did it. You did it yourself. <laughs> yeah, I did it. It's actually me right now doing it. Okay, it's a bigger, fatter, stupider version of me. Better looking though. Stupider. Still better looking. Smarts don't matter if you look good. People just, you know, they just do stuff for you. And he's, a, he's delusional. <laughs> Used to be better looking until I cut my hair. <laughs> now, don't even compare. Who's got a nicer hair? Um, probably John. Let me see. Definitely one. Today, him. No, listen, when I get a haircut, Fucking can't touch me. Okay. Oh. Fucking guys. Yeah, they call me Tony Tate. Okay. Motivated, inspired, I build gyms. John is now turning a 2D drawing into a 3D drawing with a virtual walkthrough. Once he's done that, then we're gonna send that recording to Justin, Dean, and Bob from Penmark Properties for their final approval. They're gonna wire us a deposit. We're gonna start manufacturing this. This will be installed probably around March. Yeah, it'll take us about 10 to 12 weeks for it to get delivered, and then it's like one or two days to install it. Just another day, another million, baby! Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you fucking like this video? If not, stop. Click the like button. Did you subscribe? No? Subscribe to the fucking channel. I'm literally showing you how to make millions of dollars. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Share this video. This shit is free. Nobody is doing this. They'll tell you that they did it, but they won't show you how they did it. I am.
And I'm showing him while we're at it, okay? Double dipping, baby. He looks like a retired Mr. Rogers. I was so young and beautiful before I met him. Believe it or not, we're best friends. Okay, I know there's like a 50 year age difference. Yeah, 17. <laughs> but, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. So practically apart. 50. Sorry, yes. Okay, practically 50, 32 decades apart. So he could be your babysitter. <laughs> he was, listen. I'm his dad. This is Matt's old neighborhood, right? He remembers when this was all just farmland. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Old man Corey, show, it. Corey, show him the gem. Farmland. It was just farmland, as far as the eyes could see. Now show them the B-roll shot of the farmland. So some people think that I inflate the numbers or I just exaggerate what we actually spent to build our facility. Our mirrors just arrived at port. Come here. This is our import duty. See what it says right there? Customs clearance, $21,000. Right there, see? LED mirrors. Yeah, 21 fucking thousand dollars just in taxes for the mirrors that we bought. This doesn't even include the actual mirrors, freight costs from the factory to the port, port to New York port, New York port to our warehouse, our warehouse to South Philly, and then having our stuff unloaded, paying the electricians to actually, contractors to hang it, and the electricians to actually run the wires to it. Yeah, we're gonna probably spend $150,000 just on the fucking mirrors. But good things in life are not cheap, and cheap things are seldom good. Here at Fusion, we only build the fucking best. I look like... What do you look like? He looked like Daredevil with no fighting skills. Like blind and can't fight. Marvel. Look at this fresh cut though. God damn, that boy look good. Just money, yo. Let me hold yeah, something, wait, bro. Wait, let me wait. hold something. He's hey, not. Right he's not the only. Hey, right I'm not the only one that buys yeah. donuts. He Tony, does too. Tony, I'll let you hold. It something. was once in a year because I wanted to be nice. I've never done. I'll let you hold something right here, real quick. I got something for you. The gut. That look like that boy look like he get money. He look like you work at Fusion. Alright, so we have picked our one random subscriber that followed all the rules and that we just chose for a one year free membership to Fusion Gems and you can use any Fusion location with this membership. For the next 12 months, they're gonna pay absolutely nothing. His name is Gerald Miner. This is his YouTube page. This is who subscribed to us. So I'm about to send him a DM. What's up, brother? You have been randomly selected to be our subscriber winner for the week. You got one year free membership at Fusion Gyms. Just come on in, show this message to the front desk, and they'll put you in the system for one year free.